hello friends welcome back to the vfx pipeline channel and this video will keep continuing with our gitlab setup so in our previous video what i what we see is uh, we created all the empty repositories in the group here you can see all those studio tools and pipeline tools and all but all these repositories are empty even you select anyone you can see this this repository is empty so we need to add some files there then only we can actually view those files there there are few methods to actually add files there i will show you all one by one so first and very easy method is if you have code exist in your local folder somewhere you can actually make a local repository here inside local and then push all your files to the server and that is if you have the existing code but if you don't have anything and if you are just creating a new repository from very scratch then you can actually go with the first method where you can see this create a new repository where you can just clone the existing one and add new file and then push to the master one so if you are familiar with git commands then it's very easy for you to follow up and if you don't know you can just go and click on the i button and also see the description of this video where i clearly mention detailed in detail about how to use git so in this video we will just focus more on gitlab how we can actually use uh, push our repositories inside gitlab okay so now we will we will just use this method where we will just initialize uh, our local folder and then push there so for that what you have to do in windows right click and git bash here so if you don't see this git options there that means your git is is not installed in your local folder so you need to install that in your local for uh, system so that is a separate thing but now let's say if we go with this and first thing is initialize that so git uh, git in it so with that you will initialize a local folder inside this here you can see there is a dot git folder there and then we need to actually put a remote origin which is this hit paste so here you can see that we just added a remote there and then let's just go and see git status and git status will show you all these red files are basically they are uh, untracked file which is not tracked so what we have to do is we need to add these files so for that what you have to do is we can just use git add and use one dot dot means it will add all so now if you go and see the status now these all turn into green so that means they are all good now after that what we need to do is we need to commit these files for that what we have to do is use git commit and uh, M and then after that you can just put like a first existing Houdini uh, scripts okay and I'm, I'm not just going inside the structure within this folder I mean this is completely up to you what you you want to keep it you can keep it up to that but let's just put this so this m is basically this is the message for this commit and here you can see that our commit is already done everything is fine now only the final step left which is we need to push this to the main server for that the command is git push origin master okay and here you can see there is one dash u also so you can use that so git push perfect so you will see that uh, unable to access and uh, ssl certificate problem error and this is because you know what because our gitlab is uh, hosted with uh, this un i mean what is that is uh, this is invalid certificate is invalid that's why we are seeing that so to fix that uh, what you have to do is in your local repo what you have to do is you can go git and then config so you need to make some changes inside the config it's just very simple i'll uh, just follow this so again config http and then dot ssl and v capital verify and uh, then use false so what that will do is we in our configuration we say that in http level ssl verify should be false and hit enter and now let's just go back and i just use up arrow to actually go back to the previous command and hit enter so again you will see this it is returning 403 error and there is a reason for that 
the reason is this repository is not shared with the user which is logged in here right so what we have to do is we need to go back to the repository here in the settings go to the member and in the member you just add user which is I'm already here here so let's just select and the permission level is uh, for example let's just make a developer and uh, add to project and developer cannot push to the master because uh, let's just go one more thing that we will see I need to go back to this uh, user go back to the admin area okay more admin area and in admin area just select the user so where is that user our user okay so users and uh, select this user and in that user we need to change the some of the information for this user okay somehow we are not able to change the user information or can let just go and edit yes we can admin can edit things so the email address I need to change to my email address which is already configured in my local git environment so Rajiv at uh, technical director dot in sorry technical director dot in okay and that just hit save okay so as you can see that my avatar is already gone because that is not registered here okay let's just go back and uh, see now if I can do that so let's just go push master and here you can see now we are seeing some other error which is uh, you are not a owner so that's why the I'm, I'm going to seeing this error let's just go back to the repository again VFX pipeline go back to the Houdini repositories and this is simply the permission issues not something so for example now let's just go back to this and make him a maybe a maintainer okay and uh, once you once you just select that it is done so you no need to save or hit somewhere let's just go hit push master okay so here you see now all errors are gone and hopefully we should see all these files inside our git repository so select Houdini and you can see this our all files are visible here and also when we go inside activities we can see Rajiv is pushed inside a new branch master so with that we can actually put our local repositories inside uh, GitLab there's one thing that we can do is here uh, let's just create new branch so git checkout b and this branch name will be for example uh, some feature feature 001 this branch okay so now we have we we are working on some feature branch and here you can see if we can go inside repositories and branches right now we have one master branch right okay let's just do one thing uh, maybe we can add few more codes here which is like duplicate of this so we have multiple files here and uh, now let's just go and see uh, git status sorry my spelling mistake and here you can see all this copy one are actually the new one so we'll just use again uh, git add all and git commit and m and the message is copied uh, some new feature added okay so hit that and after that now let's say if we have one feature branch but that feature branch is not even pushed to the server so if you want to push that feature branch into the server all you have to do is git push u origin instead of master you can just use feature 001 
feature 001 and hit enter okay now let's just go and refresh this page perfect here you can see that you have a feature here and uh, yeah i mean once you you follow this this workflow then you will see some more things like something like merge request compare and also once you go inside this branch you can see all those copy files is also there if you click this uh, i mean the file name you can actually go and see all the code also there whatever code you have there for example this is a python file so all the python code is visible here okay in the syntax highlighting is already there and you can also configure this syntax highlighting i will show you uh, maybe i can show you right now inside settings you can go to general uh, sorry I, I think it's not general it is uh, it is it is it is oh basically this is inside profile so you can go inside settings and inside settings there are preferences and in preferences see the syntax highlighting theme so here if you want to prefer the dark theme you can select the dark one and also you can change the top navigation to some other colors whatever color you want so i think this looks good dark one and also i will select this both as a dark hit save so once we hit save changes go back to the home and select the repository and here you can see that we still see uh, our all the codes here and right now the copy one is not visible because we selected the master but we can easily go to select the feature once we select the feature all the code will update and also once we go and see the code and here you can see now it's highlighting in the dark one okay so guys i just showed you the method where you can actually take your existing code to the git lab server with uh, using git so this is your existing folder right now the thing is what is if you have your existing repository which already contain tons of uh for example this my this folder i actually get it from my github and this github already have all this uh, codes and all these commits already exist now i want to take this inside our this gitlab so in my next video i will show you how we can take our github project inside gitlab so follow me in my next video thank you guys